Hey everyone, welcome to Shoot On. Today we want to talk about torque, more specifically torque as it is applied to mounting a scope, the uh, scope rings and the scope bases. Now every screw uh, has a, should have a torque specification. Some manufacturers do a really good job of supplying that whenever you purchase the rings or if you're purchasing the uh, scope and uh, ring and mount as a unit or as a package. But unfortunately a lot of them do not. But it's very important that you uh, torque the screws down to a specific and preferably a manufacturer recommended specification because if you don't, if they're on too loose, obviously this, something can come loose, the uh, scope could, could wobble, could slide, could twist, and that throws everything off. Put them on too tight and you run the risk of shearing the screw, uh, especially on recoil. Uh, damaging the screws if, you t if you're in the act of tightening them too, too much. So it's really important to know the torque specifications of your mounting hardware and set them accordingly. Now to do that you're going to need a proper torque driver. Uh, here we're using the Real Avid, I think it's called the Smart Torque. Uh, this one goes to uh, up to 70 inch-pounds. Now inch-pounds is the uh, the measure for doing uh, smaller work like this as opposed to a foot-pound uh, wrench that a lot of you are probably familiar with. So anyway, you got to have the right tools but you also have the right information so you know whenever you're buying a uh, new scope or uh, a new set of rings, mounts, make sure the manufacturer is supplying the torque specifications for that because you need to know and if they don't, which is what the case with a lot of them, Call them up, write them, email them, and say what are your torque specifications for whatever the application is. They need to be providing that anyway. Again, a lot of them don't do it, so you know, it doesn't hurt for all of us to kind of hold their feet to the fire a little bit and get them on board with this. So anyway, the key to this is obviously getting the right torque. Uh, again, check with the manufacturer, and then in the process, you want to you want to do everything else right, which we've talked about before and that is using a little bit of medium thread locking compound on these screws. This way, you know, you, you, if you torque everything just right and you use a little bit of thread locker, you're not going to have those screws back out. You're going to have a nice solid mount for your scope that's going to withstand the recoil over a long period of hard use. And that's what we want, that reliability. So if you're getting ready to mount some optics on your rifle, uh, especially right here before hunting season, be sure that you're torquing the screws to their proper specification. Check with the manufacturer for that and also make sure that you clean the screws, use denatured alcohol, apply just a small dab of medium strength thread locker and then, uh, then go for it. And I think you'll be very pleased with the results.